Alright guys, in here is DEI by Ludus Magnus Studio. I don't, I mean this is a big box so I'm not sure. Th these prototypes are so funny. I always love opening these because each one's so different. I've opened poker sets uh, that contained minis in them. I've, I've opened bags of like bombs. Um, I've, I mean just, you name it, I've opened bags. Like instead of a box, it came in a bag. Uh, there's, <laughs> it never ceases to amaze me how different and wild each one is and it's so entertaining I think it's kind of cool for you guys too to see um, I, I guess I don't want to say necessarily how far a game is uh, because some of it has to do with just preference and you know how how much effort they're putting into the necessarily the prototype versus the game if that makes sense you know maybe they have a very pretty prototype but it only supports you know one game mode out of like five or something like that but it's just kind of interesting to see how everything is set up all right, so we got this big old. Let's see if we got. Oh gosh, that's heavy. Wow. All right, so we got a box here. I'm assuming probably minis. We got a ton. Wow. <laughs> a ton of that. We got some more padding here. This is probably all padding. I want to say. Like that's all this is. Yes, just padding, padding, padding. Because again, they don't have like a set box just for this. I just needed to find one that's big enough. This is gonna be heavy. All right. Ugh. All right. I think that's it. Yeah, we're good. All right. Let's zoom in on this. All right, I must say this looks quite professional. This looks nice. I'll be interested to open this. I think we're actually looking at the back here, but I'm not going to flip it yet. I want to see what's in this box here first. Now, I'm assuming there are going to be minis in here somewhere, and um, I will be looking at the minis and critiquing their sculpt design and just kind of overall progress, but obviously they're not finalized. They're not tooled. Um, there's a lot that can change between them, and I might be getting a different ver- well, I'm probably getting a different version than what it will be in the base game. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to be, you know, overly critical, depending on what I see. What I will do, though, is at the very end, I'm going to show you kind of a nice round table of any miniatures I get, where it's in, uh, like a light box with great lighting and really good focus and high quality. So you're going to see them all, so I'm going to be moving around and talking about it, but at the end of the video, you'll see everything else. Now, this is interesting. I do see some minis. Oh, they're so tiny. Um, and then some boxes. All right, so we'll we'll open that later. Just wanted to see what was in there before I, I moved on. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, 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 dropped a whole bunch of stuff. All right, look at that. Actually looks, pr like I said, pretty well done here. Color me impressed. Now, obviously, when it comes to uh, Kickstarters, I'm going to be loud here, aren't I? Um, between stretch goals and all that stuff, you, you, you end up getting pretty much like a collector's edition, like a collector's version, and uh, so this will just be the, the core box by the looks of it, which is totally fine. I completely understand that. My goodness, this is taped like I might just have to do my worst. There we go. Look at that. All right. And this side... You know, I used to struggle a lot more. I still struggle uh, with basic things like tape, um, but I, I used to be worse. I think I've improved so much. These are my older unboxings. Man, that's that's rough. I'm like I'm keep flipping this, and something's falling inside. I can hear it now. Um, again, it's because the box looks good. doesn't mean they have final like storage solution in here. You know, so who knows? It might just all be in baggies in there. For all I know. There's no telling. All right, I think that might be the last flip. Sorry. Oh my gosh, it's like taped at each layer. There we go. There we go. All right, and move that aside. There we are. Okay. Now look at that. This is even like in a plastic wrap. That is fascinating. I I don't know if I've ever gotten a prototype uh, actually in plastic wrap there. So that is quite interesting. Let's go ahead and look on the back. That looks cool. It's upside down. I do always try to note that if it, like did they put did they put the box lid on right, and it's it's fine that they didn't. It's just funny. I always uh, I I don't know if it's necessarily attention to detail or if you just get lucky and they never care or what, but um, it's always kind of nice 
in my mind if uh, there's some residue here. Again, prototype, I'm assuming this is a still a prototype box that they just happen to seal. Um, as opposed to anything like super finalized. Yeah, there's like dust and stuff on here. Anyway, um, I always like to just kind of see that. Again, it's that extra little bit here. My first experience with this game is going to be the box. And if the box is right side up on the back, that's always kind of cool. Uh, love the style of box. So Kickstarters have started doing this a lot where they pretty much put it like notice Ludus Magnus Studio is not anywhere here. Now, I mean, this should be proud of their game always. And I get that. But having full art like this with minimal um, stuff here, you actually have kind of a big logo here. But uh, it fits in right to the theme and otherwise it just looks nice like you could present this on the top of your calyx shelf like this and feel fine with that it looks very nice All right, oh we got the fart and here we go now i know since their last their last version of kickstarter um they've changed the overlays and i don't know if this is the new version or not i know they changed um some of the like art on it and stuff so i can't speak to that i don't i didn't note the differences between their update and the new one as much maybe one of you guys can let me know if this is um uh, the new stuff or their old style same concept of course it's just that they they changed kind of the look of it a little bit here's some extra stuff here so if you didn't know this is like um there's roofs so there's a bottom level and on top level and you can play like that what i like about this just looking at this right now is it doesn't really get in the way it doesn't add a lot of storage space and unlike um uh, the great wall you're not going to actually have trouble seeing over <laughs> these these big walls obviously not final storage at all um but still fairly put together. So let's see here. This is where you're like uh, purchasing your items, right? So there's these different shops, and depending on how many of the outposts you own, depending, and they like they, they move here, and you get discounts as they go farther along or whatever. Um, these are nice quality. I'm trying to decide. Like I don't know. They're interesting. Uh, they're they're fairly. Um, it, it it actually feels. Hear that it feels a little like plastic like it feels not like paper at all um i think it is because i can kind of see the little cut here but it feels very like um you know those those playing cards that are really bendy and smooth uh not the linen finish ones that they just feel kind of like plastic that's what it feels like here i don't know what to call it i'm sure it's a finish on it but um very clean cut like this is i i would honestly if it wasn't for that kind of weird feeling you get, like this is pretty much, I would be fine with this normal. That's cool. So I got some cards here. Uh, we'll open that up and I'll take these tiles out just to see. It looks like it's just tiles. Let me double sure though. Oh, okay, so we got the tiles here. Tiles here. Let's go ahead and take a look at those and see what's underneath here. Just, just, just because I'm curious. Aha, there's more. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so there's there's my storage solution. Again, each prototype is so different. It's so funny. Now, this is cool. What I like to... I, I was looking at this, um, and I, I hadn't looked at DEI a lot, actually, um, because you know I wasn't like told about it until like after it launched the first time, so I didn't even know about it. And then at that point, I was, so much other stuff was going on, I never even really looked at it. I'm wondering if I'm not the only one there, but um, since you know, since they were like, "Hey, you know, we'd like you to give an honest feedback on this and you know, show your viewers and all this stuff," um, I went ahead and like read the rule book and stuff like that. And the fact that each like this is like your your each player has this right, so it's this like really nice kind of. It actually feels kind of like a tablet. That's actually kind of cool. It looked like it did right. It had the little handles there, and so you'd put like your little stuff here that you get in little gems and uh, spaces for cards and whatnot. Um, just kind of nice. Now again, prototype quality, so there's probably some bending, I would assume. Um, they're not going to go all out. Yeah, so do you see that? So when you flip it, right, if it's curved this way, then when you flip it, it'll be bowed the other way. And what it is is you'll get a gap like that. That's how you can always tell quite easily, um, though I could tell that it was bent just, you know, kind of at, at the very beginning. And, and of course, you'll it'll sometimes get a little wobble too. But again, not final quality at all, so I can't ding that. But something to look out for in the final product, of course, especially um, it, it happens a lot with big 
things like this. So if they could uh, get this even thicker or just improve the uh, the final uh, cardboard quality to not be so fluffy and kind of light, be a little bit more widget, more uh, wood-like, um, then you'll be fine. But this is quite big, so definitely something to look out for. All right, we got here, and again, I don't know what all of these are. Uh, these are the turns. You only have four turns. You like you do action several times in each round or whatever, but they're four rounds. Um, and these are like your mission cards that, that come in there, if I'm not mistaken. And a big old long, <laughs> that's actually kind of fun, uh, tokens. So let's go in and punch them out to see. Now, again, as I, I can't stress it enough, prototype. But, you know, hey, if they're good now, they're, I'm, then I guarantee they're good later on. And these are beautiful. That's awesome. That's great. Look at that. This one's already, oh, man. <laughs> there's like falling out, which is fantastic. So when it comes to cardboard and all that, you can definitely print them different ways. You can print them from different material. This is an interesting material. I'm actually going to show this a little bit closer up here. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit too. All right, do you see the, um, the texture on this is quite unique. I am not used to that at all. Um, I'm not sure I've had one that has a texture like this. Like, hopefully you can see that, okay? Make sure again you're nice and in focus there. There you go. Um, and, and hopefully you can see that. I don't know, it just, it looks almost like a, like a neoprene, like a yoga mat kind of, um, I don't know, it's just a very interesting texture. I don't wonder why the texture's like that. And I don't know if that's final or not. I honestly don't know. Um, what I do know is that this is not printed cinder. So you see here, there's definitely some space here. And of course they can, they can work on the printing and the layout of the machines and all that kind of stuff. Um, very interesting though. Uh, but yeah, man, these print, these, uh, pop out like very nice. Like, look at that. That is fantastic. Interesting that these are, are not uh, in color. It almost would have been cool to have like the flip side be full color and then not or something like that. But it looks like it's kind of going with the theme here um, because those are like your little scanner things. So these are the little pieces you'd fit on there. Uh, see, that's not pun punching up. So that's our first little hangy one there. And actually it's it's like, there we go. Not actually too bad, a little little fuzzy there. But that's always kind of, you know, what I'm trying to look at. And it looks like that's a, a very uh, advanced shape too, right? It's that little corner cut there. And that's how good they do that. This seems to, another little hangy one here. Again, prototype only. So that one I actually got a tag. That being said, it's not um, ripping the other way. So what you really want to worry about is when it rips it off this way, right? But again, prototype. But I'm actually really impressed with that. I've had far worse than that. That was actually done pretty darn well. All right, let's get all this out of the way. Oh my goodness. Get going, go on, out of the way. All right, I think I'm still zoomed in here, so let me zoom, well, no, because we're gonna do cards. Let's go ahead and do the cards here. So let's go ahead. There we are. Do the cards. Now again, again, can't say it enough, prototype. But again, kind of interesting to see. In fact, I don't know. Let me know. Do you prefer to see a finished product? Or do you actually like these kind of like uh, really early critical looks at prototypes? I, part of me feels like that's an oxymoron and it's completely useless for me to critique a uh, prototype at all. Um, and it's not so much critique. It's just, you know, I guess my unfiltered thoughts um, as I look at it, really. But um, I will say here, like these incredibly skinny um th i'm assuming these are not final quality if they were this would be a negative in the review so um uh, but again prototype so i'm assuming this is not and it's probably just a, a cheaper because you know you don't want to spend too much money on the prototype at that point you're almost just wasting dollars right you may you're you're gonna ask that back from the backers right so you don't want to like overproduce it per se uh the art here uh actually kind of dig the style i'm i was not expecting the style to quite be like this um but it works out well interesting all right uh that's the, the different factions that each each group has like these are like the kind of the, the the terrorist rebels or i think or whatever and um this is like the uh the mutant people either way um they each have kind of their own oh that's cool you can't even see what it is 
on the other side, um, your actions that you're going to do, right? You can almost think of them as like mandates from like rising sun or something like that. And you can do them in any order and you can do different things. And yeah, all right. I'll, I'll look at the, obviously the review later. I want to take a quick look at these before going into the minis at kind of a, a higher detail for you guys. Just so again, then I focus. There we are. All right. Um, you know, I just, I would I'd kind of be remiss not to. Uh, so first of all, they stack quite well. I've noticed at least on these, <coughs> oh, excuse me, they, they are kind of all on the sides. Like here's, here's a more unique one right here. And uh, I mean, they're quite heavy. I'll tell you that much. Um, I guess this one doesn't have any corners, but either way, there's not there's not one that's like in the middle, so everything will wobble on it. Like if there was only one here and nothing here, so everything stacked on top would wobble in the middle. So they stack nice that way, and it looks. I mean, again, you would just kind of you can in the rule book they have different ways where you can uh, set it up depending on the number of players, but then you can also just kind of do whatever you want. I mean, at the end of the day. You can do whatever. And so then eventually you would like build bridges, right? So you have like bridges that you can like cross two places with and stuff like that. Kind of interesting stuff. Um, it looks nice. I think the art flows well. It looks like at the corners, they always kind of go very light uh, snow so that there's no like uh, awkward like rock formation in one corner kind of thing. So they're pretty smart in how it fits together by the looks of it. Um, this is getting pretty close to it, All right? So that's kind of see how that would look. Again, just just kind of checking out. Oh, we gotta get it to form though, right? Yeah, that still looks fine. I'm okay with it. Uh, yeah, I like that. Uh, very uh, impressive looking on the game table, which I think can help sell a game a lot. I don't mean sell as in make money. I mean sell as in uh, give the believability to. All right, let's take a look at here. What we got here. Let's take all these boxes out. This is I don't even know what this is. Let's figure out what this is. First, oh, I got meeples too. Look at that. Uh, so they have a meeple edition. Uh, I believe that's the new version. And I actually, okay, so here, here's my thing about, and I know you're watching Unboxing. I'm about to tell you kind of opinion stuff, but again, what, what are you going to do? This is my channel. Um, I would prefer standees over meeples pretty much in all instances. I just think they're a little bit more thematic. You can keep with the art theme. They're still kind of 3D. Um, so you can, I, I just, I would prefer standees actually over meeples in pretty much all games but i i'm a very big supporter of having a non-miniature version miniatures are expensive i get that it does change the logistics a lot though because you got to pay for the steel mold anyway but now less people are getting it so you're not getting as bang for your buck for it uh, we are a small company with a big mission create awesome models for passionate collectors our miniatures are made by painters for painters and most of them can be used in our games interesting most of them can be used in our games I want, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I will say I dig the painter reference. It's my wife just started painting. Expect a video on this uh, later on the channel, by the way, where her and I are actually going to talk over her painting like I do, do a painting video. We're going to kind of discuss kind of how she, ta this is hard to open, by the way, um, how she tackled different things. And one thing that she's noticed on her own is that um, when it comes to, miniatures once you start painting it you just look at it different you start noticing mold lines more you notice where they're placed you notice uh the hand detail and the fact that like she picked one inch the person had toenails and she noticed that and otherwise you're not really going to notice that okay so this is just um to kind of store the the hover uh ones so these these kind of drones and vehicles that you get that being said this is kind of cool so it looks um pretty much equivalent to like a uh Oh, what do they call a sun drop uh, kind of style thing, right? So they have a two-tone uh, or even three-tone wash or, or uh, airbrush kind of work going on here. So it's darker inside, highlighted there. And I usually see a little bit more of a highlight here. Don't know how on purpose that is, but it looks like it's brightest red kind of at a 45 degree angle and then kind of a top down red and then the base coat and the back is kind of like this darker red which looks kind of cool i don't know if they're offering that i or if they're offering painted versions i'd have to recheck their kickstarter preview link in the description below by the way to that preview so that you can go ahead and uh kind of see what's on offer and uh get a sneak peek at like i, I think they even have like their prices up and stuff like that um this is nice that they did this so like very nice and i must say these are cool 
Like, I mean, are, is is that not awesome? Like, and if you like really painted this up, I think that looked great. So, um, I think these are resin based off of the weight and the crispness of it. So obviously they will not be resin when you get it. I'm assuming they're going to be PVC and they may even be a PVC ABS mix. They can answer that for you. I am sure. Um, I will say that at least how this is like, it's pretty sturdy, which I like. You always wonder if it's going to like, a lot of times they'll have the little post and it'll be a little hole and it's a little really wobbly on there. So we'll have to see. I've noticed that at least with the, the prototype, they're not perfectly straight, right? They're, they're very much like turning or in motion or something like that, which I like. Very good detail here. I will say this detail on here, let me actually get really close in your face here. So hopefully you can tell what it is I'm looking at. I'm actually going to brighten it a little bit. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Let me actually get you in focus. There you go. So in here, the kind of hexagonal honeycomb look here, um, it, you can kind of notice it here from a distance, though you really can't, uh, like a little bit. I would like to see that exaggerated. It's just not going to take a wash, and there's no way I'm highlighting that by hand. Ideally, I can paint it and then put a wash down on there, and it'll show up. The ridges here are actually probably at your limit. Uh, I think a light dry brush on there would pretty show up quite well and do okay, but the honeycomb here is just too shallow at least in the current iteration and again they can modify and update these renders and they will when they have to manufacture them. they'll tool them and do all sorts of stuff to it so a lot can be done here the uh back end of the blades are also fairly shallow there the front ends look good like like there's a good lip on all of this a wash would let's line up there and then you kind of can highlight it i would do it by hand here and just kind of do a line but uh like all oh, that's good the little uh, nubs or whatever the heck that is is good painting in there is going to be a pain but uh, i'm liking the detail of what i'm seeing pretty much everywhere uh, again just maybe pop out that and pop out this and i think you are golden uh and probably the same thing goes with with this actually the back of this seems a little bit more defined incidentally and it looks like there's a a, a 3d print post so they probably 3d printed um this from a resin printer uh, I don't know what printer they used. And so they'll have these little posts where the uh, um, the support pieces are while they're printing it. And then they'll have to, you know, kind of hand clean that up. And um, for the most part, this looks really good. Again, I love the piping, right? I love the little tubes and stuff there. I should really appreciate the underside of these almost more than anything else. All right, so I got two more kind of special ones here. All right, let's see here. This guy is cool. <laughs> so uh, no base for him. Uh, the, you'll see this in the in the Kickstarter. Again, link down below in the description. You'll see this kind of close up um, in its plastic gray form, not this kind of uh, fancy highlighted form here. I'm actually kind of I'm kind of glad they gave me these. These are cool. Um, let me actually get zoomed back in here. Again, the detail. On this and again resin i understand is fantastic uh this vent right here is too shallow um these rivets here are great even the little nubs there i think would actually kind of work um it's it's kind of the detail level right now um or li like if you're doing freehand work and stuff like that it's pretty much that skinny normally ridges here are good um on the like the drill bits it looks like so some kind of like resource extractor the grinding stuff here is good. I don't know what's going on here. It looks like it may have just actually broken off from the mold or something like that, which is fine. Again, prototype. Uh, I love the feet. Uh, the underside of these are so great. I really hope that it comes without a base and I can base it separately because um, painting underneath things sucks like horses. And I'm painting the hyenas from Conan right now because I never got around to it and they're really quick and easy. But I get, I'm not going to do any highlighting underneath there. I just jab my brush and hope I cover up all the all the primed portion of it. Um, the li the lining on this, like right here, very shallow. So I think some of these things, but this one looks good. So this one's good. This one, maybe a little exaggeration. This one's, I think, far too shallow. Um, like a, 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 It's cool with a general paint like this, right? When you're doing these kind of uh, big tones. And obviously you have resin and super crisp. And that's where like a lot of this is, that's that's from the resin. That's not part of the design there. Um, but when you're actually trying to like 
highlight it. Sometimes it can be a little difficult. That's cool. I like that one. That one's cool. Let me actually just kind of get these just in view for you. There you go. Kind of see them. The scale is, but the looks of it's smaller than I was thinking. Um, and and obviously the bigger the scale, the uh, the more enjoyable I find the painting. So I've been spoiled on like some 75 millimeter paintings at this point, and my goodness, that's if you if you are a painter and you haven't painted 75 millimeter, try it. Just just do yourself a favor, find one of the cool ones you like, and give it a go. You will be impressed. These designs are cool. Oh look, this has it says dragon, and then 182 by the looks of it, or J. A tour. Either way, that's super cool. I love the wording on there. That'll look great. These are so cool. Um, I just dig the styles. Very sleek uh, for such a postal. Oh man, look at that. We got some bombs there. Again, some of the resin printing will make it look kind of odd. That's fine. That's just cool. Putting an OSL glow effect on the jet turbine here would be so awesome. That'd be great. Yeah, very cool. Uh, I can say comments as always. Some of the, some of the lines are good. Some of the lines I think are quite shallow and won't show up in PVC. I wouldn't be surprised if you just don't even see this line. Um, nonetheless, have it enough to actually take a wash so that if I put a wash in there or you know paint it like black or whatever, like actually put my brush tip in there, um, it needs to be a little bit more saturated. These are oh man, that's so cool. All right, let's look at. There was a whole bunch of other ones in here too. Uh, let me go in and take some meeples out just to show them. I'm going to just take actually all of this out and we'll go from there. All right. Meeples and a whole bunch of different minis. All right. Take a look at the meeples, I guess. Now, one thing I dig about these, actually, that's kind of cool, is um, you see the the different symbol here. Like you'll recognize that this is the uh, the people I said that are like the the kind of the, the terrorist group or whatever. Uh, they have this kind of moon symbol here, and uh, yeah, I don't know what what each one is or isn't. Uh, so it looks like there's uh, the leader, and then um, these are not your scrappers. So I don't know who these other two are, but each one kind of has the two there. Uh, again, they're all unique and they are to the scale of the miniature. So they're these really tiny kind of little guys. Uh, I dig it. I dig it. Again, I'm not a huge mini fan. I do like the holes in them and they look nice and crisp. Like, again, I don't know what the final quality will be, but that arrow is looking good. Like that, that's a great mouse pointer right there. Um, you could like hover your mouse over it right now on the screen. I'm sure it'll probably match up. Uh, this guy's like two away from a Triforce. Anyway, cool stuff. Um, if you're into meeples or you're into saving money, I mean, that's, that's kind of your go-to, right? Let's look at some of these. Now, I don't know, a lot of times, like if you saw my Great Wall preview unboxing, they'll have the same, they'll, the same miniature sculpt over and over again, and it'll just be in a different color. Um, it looks like that's what this is here, is that they're just a different color. In which case, I'm going to go ahead and do normal gray, um, just so you'll see. Now, it looks like the, uh, main guy here is unique. So we'll actually want to open all of these. So let's actually, let's start with the main gray so that I can show both. And then I'll just pick out the, um, so this is LMS uh, Mauer times 15. Okay, I'm not sure what Mauer is. Oh my gosh, they are so tiny. This is, like what, what scale is this? Um, and so first of all, I must say the detail level on here is better than some 32 millimeters I've gotten. <laughs> um, obviously again, probably not production plastic though. This doesn't, I, it feels 3d printed, but it doesn't really feel like resin if that makes sense, but it's so tiny. It's really hard to tell. Um, these are adorable. Um, I would, I would probably actually myself hate to paint something this small. Um, I was, I'm actually quite, I was not, I guess I should have known when I saw this, that when they're able to walk on it, they're going to be these tiny little guys. Um, definitely puts it to scale though, huh? That's, that's funny. But then it puts this to scale too, right? Like that's, you know, looks kind of mean. And I don't know how to scale it is. Like, is there supposed to be a person in here or is it robotic? Cause it's, I'm, I'm actually, yeah. So here's, here's something. Here's a cockpit, right? I'm assuming that means a person goes in here 
It's not just a drone, and this guy is never fitting in there. So the scale is a little off. Um, and I'm a big proponent of scale if if you can. Um, obviously, you don't necessarily want these too big, and you don't want a map too sprawling or it won't fit on anybody's table. But um, you know, it is it is what it is. There, the detail of on these are crazy. It's I'm sorry, it's just impressive that we can we 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 can go to this level of detail where you have cheekbones and a chin and a mouth and sculpted eyes on something this tiny it is quite impressive um even like the lines on there like i i i don't know i need to i need to almost paint one of these just to, just to try my hand at it, at this small this scale uh cuz that is impressive they seem to be holding up pretty well too uh there's not a whole lot of because we're coming in bags here right so there's not a whole lot of broken anything All right, and and before I upload this, I can I don't know right now. I'm not gonna stop in the middle of the video, but um, I'll let you know if uh, there's a, a, a if this is the the correct scale. I imagine it is so. So, um, but what the scale is, I don't know. Again, I'll put it on the screen or something if I find out. This dude is awesome. This dude is cool. This dude would be so much cooler if he was bigger. <laughs> um. He, it, it's it's actually it makes it look adorable instead of cool if that makes sense like everything just looks adorable um okay, great this, it is insane that okay so i've heard companies say like, oh you know oh you know the skill's hard i can't do fingers or whatever these people are doing fingers at this scale now i get this is you know probably resin but I, you know resin at this size i don't know what the actually so the molds for resin are different so the prices are way different comparatively but Oh man, that mask is cool too. Um, super tiny though. My goodness, these are tiny. All right. Now, and again, the Kickstarter could have uh, different scrappers and stuff for each group. So I'm not a, not a, not at liberty to say right now if it'll be there at launch or if it's there right now or you know whatever. I just I just don't know. Take a look at this one. And again, I'll show you these. Oh, the person's got a shovel. I dig it. And uh, like a sawed off shotgun or whatever. Super cool. And I don't know if they're going to come in these clear bases or how the this outside base is going to work so they're not so tiny. Um, but then they, you know, it looks like um, the this is going to be the same color as the miniature, right? So they, 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 they kind of match. See? Now, again, this is not an exact match because they're custom doing it. But I think that's the goal is purple base around the captain of the purple minis which helps uh, the color coding helps a lot especially as a painter because when i paint them they're not going to all be purple anymore i want to be they're going to be whatever the the concept art is now the concept art has a lot of purple it works if not i need some way to tell all right final guy here and again um just i'm so impressed by the detail here really really good even even for resin i've again i've gotten resin in my prototypes before and this is actually quite impressive that's cool uh it would be kind of neat to paint I mean, look, how, look how tiny he is look at that he's he, he literally is almost the size of my fingernail <laughs> all right let's go ahead and again this is just an unboxing i'll do a review uh here very soon so expect that if, if you're not subscribed subscribe so you get notified of it so that you know but i'm sure lms will let you know once i do it as well um, we're going to go on the round table. I'm going to show you all these miniatures really up close and nice. And, uh, I'll talk to you over there. All right. So what can I say about these? Obviously it's kind of hard to talk about them when they're, you know, when they're resin and they're just not the final quality, but I must say for the size and the scale that they're at, it's 22 millimeter, by the way, really, really actually pretty impressed. I mean, these are, these, they're like normal miniatures. In fact, they're better detailed than a lot of larger miniatures which is saying quite a bit. Um, and of course, the the drones are just cool and awesome, and I really like that. There's some detail that I think could be popped out a bit more, but in general, I think these would actually paint up pretty cool. Um, in fact, I'm half tempted to do it even on these. And uh, I think the assembly, uh, you know, a again, the resin will be different than the plastic, so I'm not even going to comment on that. First of all, it's a prototype, and they probably did it themselves, not a factory, you know, who knows. And, and again, resin mold versus steel mold will be different. The tooling will be different, so uh, can't comment on that. But uh, the design-wise, the detail-wise, the quality-wise, I'm really liking this. And as a as a prototype, if it's this good already, then hopefully that's something 
good to say for the rest of it. And I've noticed Ludus Magna Studio has increased their miniature quality. Uh, I got Dungeonology, and I thought that was better than even Black Rose Wars. It looks like Black Rose Wars Wave 2 is better than Black Rose Wars Wave 1. So I'm glad to see that upward trend that they're doing as they keep kind of pushing for better and more improvement. So that's cool there. Um, I actually have already played this game. I will be working on a review after a few more play sessions. I really want to give it, you know, a, a good go and uh, kind of give you guys the detailed review that I think you guys want and need from me. I will say, though, that I did enjoy it. In fact, I enjoyed it more than I did Black Rose Wars. So uh, it's certainly not a bad game at all. If that's good enough for you, based off of me saying it's a good game and I enjoyed it and it's not bad and I wouldn't not recommend it, then by all means, link in the description below to the Kickstarter. If nothing else, you can go check it out anyway. Um, for instance, all of my little guys were one sculpt. There's multiple sculpts already in the stretch goals there, plus a whole other faction and all sorts of other stuff. Um, if not, you know, again, you can always just back it and then wait for my review, or just wait for my review and then back it then, or not back it if you don't care. I mean, I, I, I don't know. It's just whatever you guys want to do. But I actually enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to playing it again. I'm looking forward to playing a two-player version, uh, competitive with my wife. That'll be fun. I've played a three-player version, and I'll play a four-player version as well. I'll try all the different versions that they got at me, and I'll, I'll do them all. So anyway, cool minis, fun game. Uh, I mean, I don't know, what, what, a unique setting, right? Uh, the, the style here is actually really cool. I really dig the the drones are just cool like i want to paint those up right now and then your leader guys all look awesome they're all um you know like none of the sculpts are crazy they're not like crazy sculpt and then that makes sense at the size you can't really have a whole lot of uh dynamic poses and not have it get broken i know there's a lady that's pointing outward um but her arm's pretty straight there and of course his arm's out there but in general i mean i don't know if you can do too flowy um that and you do have a lot of these guys on the board so the scale does make sense when you're playing it and i actually was fine with the scale uh once i kind of grew accustomed to it i would have liked the drones to be to scale anyway anyway fun game cool minis really enjoyed it good art good theme and uh, if you have any questions before the review, go ahead and ask them below. I'll be sure to answer them, uh, but I will be doing a full review with this as soon as I can. Next up, though, we got a February Kickstarter video to do, so let's let's do that. All right. All right. As always, huge shout out to my patrons. Huge shout out to you. You guys all rock. I'll talk to you soon.